Now, the Madrid derby, always a glittering occasion on the Spanish football calendar. Real Madrid and Atletico on the same pitch. It doesn't get much better. All the action is next, live on EA TV. It is the Merengues against the Colchoneros here at the Bernabeu. That's Real Madrid versus Atletico Madrid. And the sparks usually fly when these two lock horns. I'm Derek Ray, and with me for commentary is Stuart Robson. Stuart, this should be fascinating. Well, Derek, these are usually great tactical battles, no matter who's been in charge of the teams. And this will be no different. I've got to say, this should be a good game today. <laughs> starting 11 for Real Madrid well as you can see the centre forward drops into midfield and the wide players stay high up the pitch when played well it creates a numerical advantage in midfield and makes it difficult for the back line to know who to pick up and here are the starters for Atletico Jan Oblak stands between the posts Stefan Savic plays with Jose Maria Jimenez in the centre of defence Marcos Llorente starts alongside Jeffrey Condogbia in the centre of midfield and the story in attack is one of a strike partnership Every reason to believe this is going to be something special at the Bernabeu. And they get the ball rolling. Marcos Llorente. Llorente. And here's Condogbia. Correa. And no way through. Condogbia with it. Blocks again. Karim Benzema. And it will be a free kick to Real Madrid. Vinicius Jr. That was interesting to look at the table. And what can we say about these runaways, for want of a better word? Well, they're in a great position at the moment, as you mentioned, Derek. And you have to say their football has been exhilarating at times. If they can keep everybody fit, they should win the title comfortably. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow, Stuart. What do you think we'll see from him today? Defenders, Derek, hate playing against players with pace, and he's got plenty of pace to run in behind. He does it cleverly. He comes short, then spins in behind, and then he's 1v1 against the goalkeeper, and he usually finishes it off. Lucas Vasquez. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Rodrigo de Paul. Carrasco. And players waiting in the centre. Camavinga. Modric. Now with Benzema. Eduardo Camavinga. What a shocking pass, really. Mateus Cunha. Well, that pass easy on the eye. 
Can they forge ahead? In it goes! Atleti strike first in the derby. A real jolt to the home fans. Not what they were expecting. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. The game has been restarted. Atletico are in front. Tony Kroos. Modric. Kamavinga. Will he find the net? Chance maybe. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. Well, it's been a struggle for Real, that's for sure. But that was a big chance to draw level. Credit to the keeper, though. What a stop that was. Correa. Oh, fine play, and maybe it'll set something up. Body in the way. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Very clear who got the last touch. So a corner coming up. It's a short one. And making sure nothing untoward happened following the cross. Who can he pick out? Well, did his job defensively. Contogbia. An incisive pass. Well, not to be. He had moved into an illegal position. Well, it's great that he wants to run in behind, but he has to get the timing right. Tony Kroos. The ball with Luka Modric. Karim Benzema. And a very good challenge. Marcos Llorente. Mendy. Tony Kroos. Now with Benzema. Luka Modric. And possession given away. Mateus Cunha. Camavinga. Opportunity it is. And still a chance. And second time around, he scores. But the keeper left to wonder what his defenders were doing. Well, as you can see, the first save is a good one, but they can't react quickly enough to the second ball. The keeper's a bit unlucky, really. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. From Dogbia. And that's an important intervention. 
Mendy. Crossing possibilities. Course. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Molina. And that was a very fine read. Nacho Fernandez. The ball with Lucas Vasquez. Modric. What can Real do from this position? The ball with Luka Modric. And he stopped them just when they looked menacing. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. Benzema. Federico Valverde. And that is that half-time here in the Spanish capital. Well, he has plenty of battle scars, and he knows how to lead a line, Karim Benzema. It's going pretty well for him. Well, he's certainly got his team back into this game with that goal, because up to that... And so the battle commences. Into the second half then, here at the Bernabeu. Not a foul, but the advantage with Real Madrid. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say, it was on the cards. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. So on they go again. A wake-up call for Atletico. Can they find a response here? And he's missed it! Good heavens! Well, that's a big miss. That should have been the equaliser. A more exciting La Liga action coming up for you here on EA TV. It's Real Madrid facing oh, Sevilla. There's a chance here. Lucas Vasquez They're making high pressing work for them here. Attacking possibilities for Real, but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Well, let's join Alex Scott, because Alex, I believe, has been a goal in the Real Sociedad game. Can he do it? Well, it's all going so swimmingly for them here. Another goal, and now it's a matter of avoiding any silly mistakes. Well, as the replay shows us, Modric picks out the pass to beat that defensive line, and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. Now the action continues, and no shortage of goals. 3-1 as things stand. 
Valverde! And unfortunately, we did have to cut Alex off there. Just to confirm, Real Sociedad have found the net in that game. They now lead by one goal to nil. Well, a good place to win it back, and let's see what it leads to. Well, possibilities in the centre. Will it happen for them? Pantogbia. Cunha. And now Correa. And it will be a free kick to Real Madrid. It is an Atletico substitution. Lucas Vasquez. Here's Valverde. Well, visionary passing, and that's a very good parry. And a quick reminder we've got more football from La Liga coming up for you live here on EA TV. It's Atletico, and they'll be taking on Cadiz. Mateos Cunha. The ball with Condogbia and fed forwards. It was a menacing attack, but tidied up. He's in behind. Well, the break looked promising, but the danger has been averted. Morata. Can he get one back? He can. He's given his team a real opportunity, and momentum is with them. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive, while the movement in the box is equal to it. It's such good timing. What a goal. So the action continues. Can Atletico push for a leveller here? Eduardo Camavinga. The ball with Lucas Vasquez. Modric. Azar. No hiding from the fact that they really should have extended their lead. Well, that was a poor miss. Could they come to regret that? And here's a change now for Atletico. And Real's creative tendencies coming to the fore. He's in with a chance. And it's gone in. Just what the doctor ordered. Things looking very bright for them now with this buffer. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. So the current scoreline, 4-2. And an astute piece of defending. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Mendy. And return to Azar. Look at Modric with the pass. Oh, did so well to deny him. Marcos Llorente.
Correa. Cunha. And a corner for Atletico. And a substitution in the offing. Who can he pick out? Well, no way through. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. And offside, unfortunately. Mendy. Well, on the cusp of the final whistle and the home side really prospering today. Stuart, interested to get your take. Yeah, clearly the better side. Obviously being fantastic up front, but it's their work ethic for me. They're just not happy unless they have the ball and they're fighting to win it back whenever they do lose it. It's been a really great performance all round. Shot attempted. Can they slot it home? And there it is. All in the melting pot now. And what a finale we could have in store for us. Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area, and he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. Well, how about this? 4-3. Eder Militao. Pass after pass, happy to just keep possession and frustrate their opponents. Modric. And intercepts again. Eder Militao. Chouameni, beautifully disguised ball. Hazard. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. And the referee says that will do it. It's the end of the game and it's a victory for Real Madrid. Their fans are going to be happy with this. Well, Derek, they didn't dominate the game by any means today, but overall they had the better of the chances and just about deserved their win. His performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Stuart. Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic, and he scored a couple of goals. What a player he is.